Merci. Je vais parler en... Thank you very much. I'll be speaking in French. My name is Jean-Jacques Soubrenat. I think that I represent civil society because the work I'm carrying out now, I'm not being paid for it, and I do it for the directorate of ICANN, but also I am president of the Scientific Council of the Luxembourg Institute, which works in the area of international affairs. I have two main points to make. The first point uh, supports what has been said by a parliamentary member from the UK. What he said, in fact, is that what we have been hearing during these days in the IGF in Hyderabad is a process somehow more by exclusion and not by inclusion. It's not an inclusive process. And I do realize that the multi-actor stakeholder model functions because there are well-identified entities. However, I do not believe that we should push, push this kind of thinking very far. Of course, there are registrars, there are users, there are govern governments, and everyone should contribute to this process. But what I find, if I take a sociological approach to our debate and I would say that some feel themselves more as owners of the process than others because they participated in meetings, they participated in discussions. And I'd like to draw an analogy here and say that there's nothing more disturbing for a representative of a country of a European Union to hear that others, for example, French people, French people here have been saying that we, the founding members, but I have to say, no, we are all founding members here. There's no second class representative here. and. I believe that in all of these discussions about the Internet, whether here or in international meetings of ICANN, you should have this sentiment of being included in the process and not being excluded from it. And I'm saying this and perhaps I'll be moving away from the main subject matter, but let us look at what is happening really today. In fact, every one of us represents many things, and because globalization is moving ahead very fast, we are also, we're at the same time, parents concerned with child pornography and the Internet. We also are parents who would like to educate our children very well, and this is why we are interested in the educational side of the Internet. We are both women and men are concerned by issues of safety and security in society. We're against violence and crime on the Internet. And we are also all citizens here, and we do realize how valuable the contributions of governments are when we talk about the formulation of public policy. And this leads me to say something different from what has been said by Prang Singh. He said that there are two areas, technical policies and public policies. Well, I, in fact, think that one of the most important realities of today is that we can no longer create such clear distinctions and create barriers. There's a part of these technical policies that indeed has 
implications for public policies and vice versa. So to conclude on this very first point, I think that instead of using a red pencil and clearly mark the borders or border lines between organizations, between communities, between developed or developing countries, I think that we should try to find joint solutions. And this is the most important contribution that is being expected from this forum on issues related to the Internet. I've been a bit lengthy in this presentation, and as has been said yesterday, uh, we are having a very animated uh, discussion here on issues related to the uh, MAG and the Governing Council of ICANN. And uh, in light of this, I'd like to focus on the role played by governments. You have referred to the question of governments as the central element in the system, the most important question that should be dealt with by the IGF. Well, in fact, because I actually lived in different countries and different regions of the world, and I do have some diplomatic and international experience, I think I have some reasons to say that the originality and the values that we're trying to put into place through the multi-stakeholder uh, dialogue by using this multi-actor system is because not everyone agrees with the fact that this system should be in the hands of governments. And you have also referred in a very excellent Manner and you defended your arguments. You talk about one government, several governments, and I don't think that this is the problem. This is not the real problem. The real problem is that governments should play a role. But the question is, what kind of role? Should it be a predominant role, or should they work on an equal? basis with other partners that will make the Internet available to all of us and to all the people in the world. Mr. Chunk, you're coming from China, and we heard what you said. And I come from a country that resembles your country, especially in the belief that citizens have in the special role that the state plays. And as a representative of France, I can say here that the values that of the system that we're trying to establish, including the ICOM, it is a very original idea, but everyone has to find his or her role. Or, and to conclude, I'd like to say that the work that we are carrying out here and what I'm trying to do in ICANN especially in the President's Strategy Committee, is to take into account the opinions that have been expressed orally or in a written manner by people from across the world over a period of several months as part of an open consultation. We have posed very clear questions. Should this model be ruled by governments? The answer was no. However, and I do agree with you, the way in which the opinions of governments are taken into account and implemented by ICANN should be improved. There's no doubt about that. And this is why, as a member of the PSC, I contribute and I would like to contribute to this process of clarification and to make more effective the contribution of governments in ICANN. ICANN is not the United Nations. It is a technical body. As I have just said, some technical functions may have broader implications, and the opposite is also true. So on the GAC, 
last thing that I would like to say, and I do have some experience from the international area, you will find in GAC countries that would like to actively participate in the work, but, and this is something that I'm saying without any judgment, there are about 100 countries that are officially members of the GAC, and usually about 40 are present, and even fewer countries are really active in the work. And this does not simply depend on the methods of work of the but it actually depends on the will of states on what they want to do with this body. So having said all of this, I'd like to stress that IGF should be inclusive. And the second point, yes, indeed, states do have a role to play, but it's up to us to define what type of role and how it can be made more effective. I'm going to 